So lately, you might have seen that there was um, a protest going on in Toronto. It was at Antler, uh, I think Restaurant Bar is the name. Yep. Um, and some uh, vegan protesters, uh, for the second time around, had decided to stage a protest outside of this restaurant. Totally not cool. And it's just... <laughs> this guy, he's trying to run a business. And yeah. like, you know, if you, don't, if you don't agree with Walmart, don't shop at Walmart. If you don't agree with... You know, whatever, Costco, don't shop at Costco. Instead of harassing this guy and like trying yeah. to take down his entire business, I don't think that's cool either. No. So actually the internet responded and yeah, um, it got uh, way busier than the restaurant has ever been before. <laughs> so it completely backlashed anyway. And we're actually planning a trip to Antler in the we next uh, month too. Can't wait. It's going to be delicious. We actually all the meat, <laughs> all the all meat. meat. We're so excited for that. Um, um, but guys, like we're really, you know, it's not that we're anti-vegan or don't eat vegetables. Like I love me a good salad or a good side of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's just the attitudes that go with it or like seem to always go with it. It's always like the loudest voice on the internet or the loudest, you know, the protesters, like they're always anti-meat and anti-farming uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, corporate agriculture, blah, 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 all those other buzzwords. Yeah. And it's not okay. Like they're not the only ones out there. There that is nothing wrong with wanting to, to protest and have something that you believe strongly against that's fine we're not yeah. telling you to um, completely stop uh, advocating for what you believe in yeah. but what's going on here is this whole veganism movement it's gotten this kind of righteous undertone to it that yeah, um, yeah. all of a sudden like anyone who doesn't follow these strict rules or doesn't um, jump on this bandwagon is somehow not as good of a human being like you're just killing the planet and you clearly don't care about animals or people or anything like that you're just the worst person out there mm -hmm. and I think like that's just so wrong you know we always hear the emotional side of veganism and vegetarianism and you know eating animals that are sentient beings and I actually I, I had a conversation once with a woman uh, down at the CNE a couple years ago and she point blank asked me like you know you're a farm kid and I told her that and she's like how do you how do you raise these animals and then turn around and eat them and you know there's this whole vilification of people that eat meat they you know you're a terrible you're you are a terrible person because you eat meat and that means that you can't love animals and I completely disagree the with two that. Are mutually exclusive. I That's... love animals. I am one of the biggest animal lovers out there. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that I can't also enjoy a steak or eat a roast beef dinner or, mm -hmm. you know, appreciate the life that this animal sacrificed to allow me to have a nutritious meal. Because mm -hmm. uh, we're omnivores, people. It's it's reached a point where it's like there's nothing factual about it. It seems almost like so many people are just jumping on this kind of new trend and um, nothing drives me crazier than um, if I post something about like my farm or on Twitter or Instagram oh. and vegan trolls that come after me it's yeah. like the things that they say are shockingly insane I think but it's, also like the irony yeah. like they wish death upon you yeah so tell me how does that how do you justify that like yeah. the point that we're trying to make is um, you don't need to make other people out to be um, bad people just because yeah. they don't choose to eat the same way you do like it's yeah it's misplaced there's not a lot of um, I don't think that a lot of these people who are like choosing to go vegan once in a while or completely transitioning right over have even done their research to figure out why they're doing that I think it's because they're undernourished and their brains are not functioning <laughs> at maximum capacity there's also a little girl having a hissy fit because she's learning how to ride her bike for the first time. Final note, what we wish for in a perfect world is for everyone to sit around the table and eat however they want, mm -hmm. um, whatever menu choice. Food. Enjoy your food. Enjoy yeah. your food, but shut up. <laughs> you don't yeah. need to tell everybody what they should or should not be eating absolutely and just leave it at that yeah if people have questions they will ask their questions if people want to look and research something more they will do that mm -hmm. i don't need to be told and harassed and bullied into what i believe and what i eat and what i choose to feed myself and my family and my friends that come over uh, for a dinner 
Um, you know, guys, food is personal and it's not okay to attack others on on what, what you choose to eat. And then we all lived happily ever after and enjoyed our food. Yes. <laughs> and had a great dinner party. Had a great dinner party. And I think that there was roast beef there. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Literally. It's a little red squirrel that shreds pine cones in my shed every winter. It, completely never fails. He always shows up. Today we open the shed and fucking <laughs> there's pine cones everywhere. We're having squirrel for dinner. Yeah. We're gonna start trapping squirrel and having uh, dinner parties.